Hey, welcome back everyone. This is Ian bringing you another video in this AI series with the new Boston. In today's video, we're going to be talking about another feature from prompt layer, and that is scoring our prompts. It's really simple. So this video is not going to be very long, but this is a super impactful feature. And I definitely recommend that you play around with it. So you can see at the top here, we are bringing in OS and prompt layer, setting up prompt layer with our API key, and then pulling in open AI from prompt layer. Then we create our client from OpenAI and we're ready to use the OpenAI API while also tracking it with prompt layer. So that's the same as it's been in the last few videos, nothing new there, but if you need to get caught up to speed, go back a couple of videos. We have an explanation of every line of code that you're seeing here. So all prompt layer requests have unique IDs and these can be optionally returned when logging the request. Using prompt layer and the request ID, we can score a request with an integer between zero and 100 this is most often used to understand how effective certain prompts are in production. So essentially what it's saying here is that we can return an ID that allows us to connect a prompt with a score that we give to it. And we'll see that here in a second in our actual code. But if we score our prompts, let's say that we have a prompt, maybe multiple prompts, then we're doing like some A-B testing, then we can run our prompts, get our responses, and based on the response, we can say, okay, this was really close to what I wanted, or this was exactly what I wanted, or this wasn't what I wanted at all, and then we can score those accordingly. So we can say, okay, it wasn't what I wanted at all, that's a zero. This is exactly what I wanted, that's a 100. And then when we go back to our prompt layer dashboard later, we can see all the scoring attached to all of the prompts and their responses. This is especially helpful for working on teams so everyone can see how well these various prompts are performing. Okay, so down here is the actual request to the OpenAI Chat Completions API. And you'll notice this is similar to our previous video where we have two variables here, response comma PL underscore request underscore ID. So the first thing that we're getting back from this call right here is going to be the actual response object. And then the second thing is going to be the prompt layer request ID. And the reason we're getting that second thing is because inside of this call to dot create at the very bottom, we have an argument here, return underscore PL underscore ID, and we have it set to the Boolean value of true. So what that does, of course, is it gives us back the prompt layer request ID, which we'll show you how to use here in a second at the bottom when we actually connect the response to the score that we're gonna give to it. Everything else is the same, we set our model, we have our messages list, which has an object inside of it. We tell it what the role is and then the content. In this case, what is the capital of New York? And then how many tokens we're going to use. And then we have some tags if we want to add some tags to this request. So in this case, it's a list of strings and I just created one specific tag. You can put as many as you want, comma delimited. This one is just going to be scoring underscore example. So we want to make sure that we have return underscore PL underscore ID set to true. That's super important because we do need to get back that PL underscore request underscore ID so that we can actually use it to track the request with the score that we're gonna to assign to it. So down here, we're gonna print the response. We'll print a space after that. We'll print the prompt layer request ID, another space, and then we'll traverse through the response to get the content of the message inside the choices list. And we'll assign the result of that to the answer variable, which we'll then print. The answer should contain the word Albany in it. So we're gonna say correct underscore answer is equal to, and then in all lowercase, we say Albany in answer dot lower. And what this does is it returns a true or false Boolean based on whether or not the word Albany is inside of the answer. So we're gonna use that to determine whether or not we give a 100 or a zero in our score. So as we go down to the very bottom here, this is where the magic happens. So with prompt layer, we can call prompt layer dot track dot score. This takes three arguments. So the first one is that request ID. And that's why it's so important for us to have the PL underscore request underscore ID, because that's what we put in here. So now it's matched up to the request that was made and prompt layer knows, okay, this is the one that we want to add the score to. So then we give it a name. In this case, I'm going to call it capital of NY, capital of New York. You can name it whatever you like. You just pass that in as a string. And then the last thing here, super important, is the score. So in this case, I say score is equal to the number value of 100 if correct answer. So if correct answer is true, then it's 100, else it's a zero. 
So here it's just Boolean back and forth between 100 and 0. You can modify this logic if you want it to be a different number based on some other outcome. But for us, it's a matter of did it work or did it not work? If it worked and it had Albany in the answer, then we give it 100. If it didn't work, false, no Albany in the answer, then we say 0. And it's as simple as that. So we can run our request. And when it comes back to us, we'll have printed out the response. We'll see that prompt layer request ID, and then we'll see the actual answer. So here is the response object. Here's the specific request ID. And then here's the answer. The capital of New York is Albany. You'll see that the A in Albany is capitalized. That's why we have to use a lowercase Albany and then take this string and make it to lower so that when we do the comparison, we get a one-to-one -one comparison to find out if the word Albany is actually in the answer. In this case it is, and so our score should be 100. So let's head over to the prompt layer dashboard and see what it looks like there. All right, here we are on our dashboard. You can see that it's updated automatically with this most recent request. You can see that the tag scoring underscore example is there. And if we click on this, it takes us over to this part of the dashboard. I'm gonna go ahead and move my camera out of the way. And you can see that we have this thing called scores in the top right corner. So if I click this little carrot to drop it down, you'll see that there's the default score is set to no score. However, down here, you can see capital of NY, which is what I tagged this specific score as, is set to 100. So we can actually add multiple scores to a single request. So if you were to do the same code that we did multiple times, maybe with different tags, because you're trying to figure out different aspects of the response, then these would show up layered on top of each other. There is, of course, the default score. And so in this case, you can go in here and score it manually if you like anything from zero to 100 and apply it. And when you apply it, you'll see it when you drop down, it's still set. Also, I should mention that if you do not include a score name here, if you were to omit this, then it would give you the score value, but it would not have a name and therefore it would override the default value. So the default value that we saw over here, where it's either no score or score, that's the one when you don't include the name. In our case, we did include a name, and so it set the name to the value that we assigned to it. So that's it for scoring with prompt layer. Super easy, super quick, but a really powerful feature that will allow you to get some really good insights into your prompt requests and the outputs that you're getting back from them. Thanks a lot, and we'll catch you all in the next video.